Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds back again. We've got our boy Nick. What's up, buddy? Hey, guys. And Luke. What's up, dude? Well, ready to talk about the new improvements. A lot of new stuff coming here with the Smart Fishing Spot system and with our Insider Club. Wait till you guys see the new dashboard. We've had a lot of people have been asking for everything we're going to talk about today. In particular, though, there's always been this, hey, can you guys, you know, uh, basically be my my fishing log, like my journal, right? So I can go back and look at where I caught fish, what time of day, what the tide was doing, et cetera, and start putting together some of your own trends in combination with all the trends and things that we're putting out every single day through smart fishing spots. And uh, we've kind of kind of finally cracked this code and have this, it's at least stage one of it built out. It's only going to get better from here in terms of just giving you insider members all this extra intel on your own fishing trips and really, really stoked about it. But first, let's talk about waypoints. That was something that people brought up from day one. There's always been a way to do it, meaning how to find exact GPS spots, how to make tracks. It's all in there, but we just made it a whole lot easier. So, Nick, you have control here. Talk about all the things we can do with these uh, these new waypoints in smart fishing spots. Yeah, absolutely. So after we wrote out smart fishing spots, one of the first things people are requesting is I want to be able to manage my own waypoints and, and be able to categorize them and just really just put a longitude and latitude and have a little spot. So what we did is um, we're rolling out uh, underneath this little tool here. Um, this is the uh, tracks routes. And now there's a new waypoints feature that's going to allow you to add a waypoint manually. And you can do it by the coordinates. So if you get a coordinate from your buddy or your, um, you know, you've got the actual numbers, you can enter them in. And then I'm going to show you the actual system where you can manage them and categorize them. And even for myself, like I have a lot of waypoints for all my spots that I fish offshore. And one of the things I always struggled with was just categorizing them and managing them so that I can pick the ones I want for my next trip. So uh, let me just show you like real simple, just, just. The, the beginning of just adding a simple waypoint. So you just click add, and this all works exactly the same on mobile. So now I can move it around, I can click and drop my waypoint, and then I can actually uh, drag this around. As I'm moving it, it'll tell me what the longitude and latitude is for that spot. So then once I've got it where I want it, now keep in mind, this will also do it if I'm tracking myself. So if I'm using smart fishing spots to record my track, and I happen to pass over an interesting area, I can I can drop a waypoint right there. When I do, it's gonna bring up an area where I can save this, uh, call it test, uh, description goes here, uh, disregard my typos. Uh, and then here's the, here's the really cool part is being able to tag by any um, method, any, any type of words you wanna do use to associate this waypoint so that you can find it later. So I can say this is Grouper, uh, Egmont Key, uh, Tampa, maybe it's October, um, winter, actually it'd be fall, fall. So I can, I can categorize this any way I want, and then I can go through and actually colorize it. So I'm going to pick a color for this particular waypoint and save it. Okay, so now this spot's saved, and then I can go under load, and this is where I can manage my waypoints. So I'll just go across the top here. Right now it's showing all my waypoints that I have currently saved, the name. This is the color, see this bar on the far left side? So if I wanna give it a certain color to kind of group all, maybe all my inshore spots are one color, all my offshore and nearshore spots are different color, or maybe ones that I find that produce better are, are a particular color. Uh, you've got a name, you've got your description, here's the actual longitude and latitude, and then the tags that you gave it. So now let's say I want to filter my waypoints by a tag. I can say, you know what, give me all my grouper spots because we're going to go off. And then I can check all these and, and load them into the map. Too cool. And then export them as well. Exactly. So um, so I can go back in here. I can I can filter. And then I can choose all these and export. And now I've got all those I can export into my fish finder and my MFD. Um, you this can is search. awesome. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's awesome. So the, and then you can also import. So if you've got like uh, on my fish finder, uh, it only holds so many waypoints. And after a while, you have to get rid of some of the older ones. So I like to have just like one master on my desktop. And that's where I do all my pre-planning. 
um, you can import all your ones from your fish finder. So you've got them all in the system. You can start to tag them and manage them that way. And then you'll be able to slice and dice them for each uh, trip. That way you can, you know, kind of sort through and see what your game plan is when, when you're, uh, when you're going out there. Is, is this one unlimited waypoint? Yes. Yeah. You can, you can put as many in there as you want. There's no limit. Yeah. So some members have mentioned using this for bait for live bait. So you could do, <laughs> you know, bait spot and then outgoing current. And then the, your month, and then over time, you'll have a crazy library um, where you'll know exactly, you know, historically at least, where the, the bait fish are most likely to be based on the, the same timing and scenario for current. So sick. And to be very clear, too, in terms of privacy, because that's super important to us, you know, we're not a public or traded company. We, we don't ever sell or share it in this information, and other people are not going to be able to see this. So when you put this in, no one else sees this except for you. There's been some other groups out there that have been known to sell and share data that we don't do that. We never will. That's not who we are. Uh, so I know if if that's a concern, uh, that's not something that we would ever, ever consider uh, doing. Um, so this stuff, when you put it in, your, your waypoints like Bob down the street, who's also an insider member, is not going to be able to see all the waypoints and stuff that you're putting in. Uh, I dude, I love these tags like that. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah, we really got the idea from all the blog posts we do and how we categorize and tag them. And I, I thought, man, that's that, that. And you can have unlimited tags on your spot. And then what's really nice is, let's say you've got your waypoints, and a lot of times, at least I do, I'll refish the, I'll, I'll, I'll fish the same spot a couple of times, and I might want to go back and update the tags for new species, you know, or, or new conditions or something that I discovered about that spot that I didn't know before. So you can update it. And then you're at that point, you're kind of really fine tuning your, the, the Intel on your own spots. So, so Nick, if, if I imported these waypoints into my GPS unit, it would come up as a normal, as a normal coordinates, right? A normal spot. Yes. So you would have your name. If you have a description on your waypoint, it'll include that and the longitude and latitude and the created at will be the date timestamp that you imported it. So I'm going to uh, start the, using this system. I, I would just been dabbling with it uh, to test on the inshore, but I'm going to start using this for near shore reefs where I can now, I can now tag exactly what it is. Yes. The, you know, the current platform, or at least what I have been using when I'm doing the routes, um, the route system to to find these these offshore ledges using the smart fishing spots platform. I've I've had to do the route and I I know at least shortly after I did it exactly which one was what, mm -hmm. but it would be way cooler and much more beneficial to to be able to give the description of each one. That's pretty sick. Yeah. It's so cool. And and obviously you you can use this inshore as uh, as well for different places. Luke mentioned bait or uh, certain areas that uh that you've uh, you fish maybe even like a new spot if you only go to a place like us going to Louisiana or certain areas maybe just once a year just to kind of document and have those. So when you go back, you're not having to try to remember, all right, was I here? Was I there? Is it still in my unit? Did I sell my unit and someone steal it? All this stuff is here for you forever, as long as you're an insider member, obviously, and you're able to log in. You can get this on any type of device, and boo bam sham, it is there. So, man, this is so cool. So, yeah. Nick, how about editing these? Can um, so once you put it on there, can you edit it and move it? Yep, there you go. So I just so let me go back and, uh, so you can see it. So I'm going to edit this spot. Um, I'll just click edit. Sorry, I'm back up here. Uh, you can change everything really, and then you can you can literally just drag this, and you'll see the the GPS coordinates changing as I move it. Wow! So you can really fine tune it, and then you just save it, or you can change the color, you know, and say you know, no, this was going to be a red spot. Nice. I'm planning on doing some stone crab, um, oh, yeah, action. So I'll be able to to track all the uh, all the 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 traps with that too. That's pretty cool, and track as they move, move them around. That's pretty sick. Yeah, so our plan, I don't know if we want to kind of touch on this a little bit, but the kayak launch points. Yeah, talk about so it. So our plan is once we get this fine tune, we're gonna we're gonna repurpose this code and we're gonna develop a crowdsourced kayak launch point that uses the same system where you can drop a spot um that you would launch your kayak and and you can write notes about it and then people can actually chat about it about you know maybe they were there last time and they say you know it was there was something that about it that changed whatever um 
but then there'll be a new layer that says kayak launch points and you'll see all these crowdsource launch points that show up uh, exactly the same way or very close to it it's awesome yeah and those would be uh publicly accessible across all the members <clears throat> so that's something that that benefits everyone and, and will be shared absolutely cool um Luke, you mentioned the 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 bait. I know there's some other talk about some other uh, bait ideas. Too early to talk about that. Um, I have a screenshot I can share. Oh, is that something? Yeah, let's me... let's do. I mean, for people listening, you're gonna have to come watch all this. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we we've got so many cool ideas that we're working on, and just it's a matter of prioritizing them on uh on how long each one is going to take and how much money but it, it i i'm i'm so pumped for you guys to see i don't know that it'll ever be a final version uh but i'm just so pumped for you guys to see just the next couple of months what's going to happen so obviously this is work in progress and this is kind of the concept and, and we've already started development on it but this is very similar to um the 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 idea that that um some of these other applications use when you're driving your car on a highway and if you see a speed trap you can quickly mark the spot that it has a speed trap so that other people know there's a speed trap coming up and that sort of thing so this is kind of the same concept but it's for bait so as you're using smart fishing spots you're out in the water and you see bait you can just click a button and it'll mark and then you just tap on the screen where the bait is and then from there you can type out a quick note or you don't have to um, you can type in or you, you move the slider about the size of the, of the bait, the area of the bait, whether it's small, medium or large. Or I think we're even going to go extra large. And as you slide the slider, uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse down here, <clears throat> but this radius gets larger and smaller. So you can kind of put, put it on a general area that you see the bait. And then you can also rate the estimated bait amount. So you can say it's a little bit of bait. It's a moderate amount of bait or it's a lot of bait. And then you can quickly choose what kind of, if it's greenbacks, if it's thread fins, whatever. And then we're also, uh, it's not displayed here, but these are going to expire because obviously the bait's not going to hold very long. But as, as the report gets older, we're going to color code them so that the, the, most, the, the most recent reports will be um, a certain color. So you know that they're just recently reported. And then as they get older, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice now. <laughs> I was so excited about it. Uh, as as the report gets older, it changes to a different color. So, you know, it, it they may not still be there, but at least, you know, it was reported maybe a week or so ago. Um, and they'll eventually expire. But And then when you go back to Smart Fishing Spots uh, under Layers, um, there'll be a new button here that says Bait. And you click on that and you'll see everything has been reported in your area. So cool. Man, I'm pumped. Um, and, and all this is feedback from you guys. So for you current Insider members, thank you so much. Keep it coming. Uh, we, we continue to get uh, feedback. And um, you can do feedback right there in the community, or you can email us feedback at saltstore.com for any other features you want to see. Um, the sky's the limit with this, which is pretty neat. And um, we've got a few other things to talk about, too. Is that all in the waypoints? Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we're just wrapping up the import export uh, testing that, and then uh, we're going to be rolling it out here next cool. few days. Well, let's pull up this dashboard next. Uh, a few of you members, we already rolled it out. This is all live. And uh, what a massive change compared to the old dashboard. And what I'm talking about is when you go to saltshore.com, for you non-insiders, you're missing out. You just see our normal kind of somewhat boring homepage. For members who are logged in, you see something completely different uh, than what the non-insiders see. And we have a, a custom dashboard here that is part of turning into your you know journal or your logbook, but has everything you could possibly need with your membership. All the benefits in one place, all very well organized, um, everything at your fingertips, just to make sure you're not missing out on anything. Because one of the biggest things that we hear and it's a positive slash negative is when people get in like, holy smokes, I can't believe I waited this long to join. There is so much stuff here, but like, how do I even find and access it? And so we finally brought together one main dashboard and it's just saltron.com. So you don't have to memorize anything crazy. It's saltron.com to automatically bring you to this page. If you're watching this video, you can see it. And it has everything you could possibly need, including everything about your membership level and 
uh, you know, when your renewal is due, all of that great stuff is uh, on here. Every one of the courses that you have access to, every one of the fishing tips, all the PDF, the cheat sheets. Uh, I mean, it literally has everything you can imagine. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I can just run through it real quick too. Yeah. So th there's the cool thing about the, the dashboard is that we can continue to expand on it and add more what I call each one of these blocks or a widget. And we've got so much information and so many different systems across our ecosystem that people were struggling with finding, like, where do I go for this? Where do I go for that? And the idea was to put it all in one spot. So all you do is you just go to the, the main page and everything's right there. You can get a glimpse of everything that's going on in our community. So um, I'll just run through. We've got table of contents, welcome video, and then your account. We've got all the fishing tips right here. Uh, YouTube videos, we're, we're tweaking that. So that'll be up there in a, in a little bit. Uh, all the courses that you've purchased. And then this is the part that I like. So you've got all your community uh, posts by region right here. So this is my home region. So I can just kind of skim through and see what's going on recently. I can see my strike score, my tide right there. At the same time, I can see the weekend game plan. So now I can kind of flip through and see what's going on uh, for this weekend. And then a uh, uh, hot community post. These are, this is outside of my region, but this is anything that's going on in the community that I don't want to miss. And it looks like uh, it was Joe without power for a little bit for us. Well, not a little bit. Long <laughs> the, next, bit. <laughs> the next one, uh, that's a nice uh, flounder there on the old, what, Zemi and Pedal Tail Shrimp Scent, smart, uh, smart Fishing Spots at School. Yeah. And then, um, so then I can chat. So all the people I've been chatting with uh, in the community, uh, the regional map, and then here's a cool thing. So we've got new products and then you can actually search um, for products right here in the shop. So you don't even have to go over to the shop. You can just do a quick search and say, you know, and I need to get some more slam shady paddle tails or whatever. Um, so you can search there. And then down below, uh, we've actually got your orders too. So you can view your most recent orders and then um, you're actually able to uh, um, see the actual products. And then if you need to reorder, you can click on those to reorder. So now, cool. yes. So the next thing is um, there's different presets for the widget or sorry, for the dashboard. So every time you come to the dashboard, it could you could have a different intent. One of them could just be to get caught up on the community. One of them could be, OK, I'm getting ready for the weekend. I want to start planning. I want to know what information I can get from our community to help me be more successful this weekend. So what we're doing is we're creating these presets. So if I want a fishing tip focus, I just choose that preset now it just changed my 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 own home page just for me so that it's more information focused and then if i want to change it to community and planning focused i can do that and now i've got strike score and all the community information right at the top and i can leave it like this if i want it'll it'll rem remember that so and we're going to continue to add more presets so that um it'll be more focused about you know different types of um intent for the for the dashboard and eventually we're going to roll it out so that uh you can customize it yourself because we've already had a couple of requests where people you know there's some widgets they don't use so much so they just want to remove those and so the one thing that i kind of teased earlier that you don't see on here yet uh and maybe nick you can talk about this and i, I know we don't have a specific timeline but this whole logbook you know journal where it's going to start tracking all of their catches uh, that's the next big thing that we're working on. That'll be right here on this dashboard. And you'll be able to see all the different fish that you've caught, what tide cycle, where we exactly where it was caught. I mean, it's really, really, really cool Intel that you're not having to take an old school logbook like a journal and write this stuff like we used to in the, in the past. It's all right here for you and can even do it automatically just even based on when you're uploading the, the pictures into here. So can you Absolutely. talk about, talk about that real quick? Yeah, so that feature is like 80% done. Um, we're just trying to work out how we incorporate it with a fishing report because what we're doing is you, we've got our fishing reports that community members make in the community, and then we have a catch log which makes up the report. So without getting uh, too detailed, basically the automatic version, uh, you upload a photo, and if you wish that you have total control of this, and if it's available, it will know the the exact tide that you caught that fish and the weather and the moon phase and everything that's going around in the environment with that photo. So you don't have to manually enter any of that it happens automatically. 
if the data is available for the photo. And then again, you have complete control. If you don't care to share it, you can keep it, you know, um, private. Yep. And, the, and what's and cool, the cool thing is, yeah, I was going to add that to it. It's retroactive too, which is really, really awesome. So you could go into your phone and upload, you know, past pictures and then it'll actually, it'll be able to see when that picture was taken and then also where it was and populate the current flow. It'll populate the weather, um, the, the tide of the title phase is really, really cool. And so you can have really your own, um, your own log, almost like that master map. That'll be your own personal map where you can see on, on, you know, geographically where they were caught and do some trend analysis from it. So really, really powerful. I've never seen any other platform have that, that retro, uh, feature in it. Yeah, I'm I'm pumped just to see if there's any trends. For instance, like, hey, well, every redfish you caught, uh, or ninety percent of them were caught on the incoming versus outgoing, or vice versa, or it was all caught during this one particular moon phase. Uh, so, I mean, there's so much cool data that you can pull from your own your own catches, and uh, we're building it out for you. Like I said, you can use it as much or as little as you want to, and uh, I I know because we've had so many requests for it. And, uh, and when you combine that once again with smart fishing spots, which, you know, we're bringing in new data every 15 minutes, uh, all kinds of new data, and you start combining that together, you as an angler just continue to get smarter and smarter, which equals more fish, right? More consistency and, uh, and hopefully more fish picks and more fun. And now you're getting more people into, into fishing and you have more confidence to, to go out there and catch fish every time, which once again, brings more people out, which is the whole goal of this is the, the rising tide lifts, uh, lifts all boats. We're just trying to empower you as a, as an insider member to give you every tool possible to continue just to save time and save money, right. By not having to bounce around from mediocre spot to mediocre spot. We want you in good fishing spots and, and having the confidence to be able to, to pick those. Obviously we have a tool, smart fishing spots that'll do it for you. But um, I, I'd be lying if I said that at some point, like it's, it's better, right. It's just like a, a tool. Uh, you don't want to just rely on that. At some point, it's good just to be able to say, all right, just like, like Luke does. Luke, Luke uses it. We all use it internally, but at some point it's also like, all right, I want to use some of my own Intel, like the stuff that we're talking about with this log to be able to start predicting, all right, they're probably going to be right here and let's see how smart fishing spots compares with that. I, I, I've, I have seen some people, I think they rely too much on that, right? It's just like relying too much on any kind of technology. At some point, you got to use a little bit of the old brain power there to figure stuff out as well. But when you can combine your brain power with technology, that's when you get unstoppable. And uh, that's why all this stuff is so exciting. So what else? Uh, we've got uh, sea surface temps coming soon. Can we tease that too? Yeah, absolutely. I was trying to see if I could find a screenshot of the of the tide when you catch fish, but we'll come back to that. We'll have to yeah. do that another podcast on that. Uh, so yes, yeah, so on the heels of uh, the waypoints, we're going to be rolling out sea surface temperatures. And what this is, this is, um, I guess it could apply to inshore too, right? Luke? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so what we're doing is we're, uh, we're incorporating uh, sea surface temperature. This is... Uh, near real time with a two degree grade. So anytime there's a two degree difference, it'll have a change in the color here. And uh, what's really cool, especially for um, the offshore guys is um, you can bring uh, the marine chart up and you can get an idea of the depth of when the temperature break is, which is huge. Um, that's really cool. I noticed even the the lakes there have this. I saw like Okeechobee had a. Yep, the lakes change. have it. Even the Great Lakes have it uh, way up here. You can oh, see yeah, all wow. the different temperature. So, and then um, down here uh, gives you the the scale, so you can kind of get an idea of what the temperature is. Um, and this will update uh, once a day, so every day it'll it'll give you the most recent. And then on top of this, we're adding chlorophyll. So with the sea surface temp and the chlorophyll layers combined with all the other layers that we have, is it's really going to be an amazing system. And, yeah, and go for yeah, it. I was going to say this is extremely important for offshore anglers, yeah. and this is part of your Insider Club membership. This isn't something you have to to pay a lot more for. There's other systems that are given this information that are, are very pricey. And uh, so this will be 
basically uh, no, no one is just giving this all this information. Yeah. They charge you a lot of money for it. I know Dylan Hubbard and you know a lot of guys that make a living on 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 fishing offshore and near shore they use this stuff religiously and pay thousands of dollars for it uh yeah. combined not not just the sea surface but all this combined so this is next level um really really cool uh nick can can you zoom in on like let's just take the tampa bay area and see what it looks like intro i've not played around with this one yet um uh, yeah to see if it even has any well it looks like a little bit of a break there. there's a little bit i mean this time of year everything's hot so yeah. um there's not gonna be much difference but i think in the winter you'll probably see more of a difference yeah um, probably the opposite probably be warmer in the bay and cooler out here but um yeah you can even see like some hot pockets here yeah interesting so um yeah it's so cool yeah. to be able to use all these different layers like to me that's one of the most powerful pieces of this platform is in, and, and we're continuing to add them. And we have this, you know, 4k satellite uh, view, and then you have the, the sonar. I mean, it's so cool. And then, oh, shade of relief. Oh, don't do it to me. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Shaded relief and, and, uh, oh uh, man. Bathy layers. Yeah. In, ca in case people haven't seen our, our prior ones, this is what I personally use to find a lot of my offshore spots. Um, it has, you have high res, obviously you don't have 20, you know, 100% coverage on the bottom, but you can see they're kind of the upper left of the screen. You can start seeing some ledges uh, there. This is just off of Tampa Bay. And so you can actually, you know, get the waypoint feature or the routes and just start, start clicking or tapping on these different ledges. And it's shocking how accurate they are. I've had it many, many times where I just using the mouse at this at this level, tap on it, and then upload into my uh, my GPS, and the boat will take me right to that exact ledge that I could see from the screen. Really, really cool. And obviously, where there are ledges, there's going to be fish. And so I've caught a lot of grouper, uh, even cobia. Of uh, oh yeah, you can see shipwrecks. Really, really cool. So crazy, yeah. And I did it with you that one time. Bro. I was a little bit skeptical. I was like, all right, so we're literally just going to go out 15 miles in our Pathfinder with nothing but some spots that you randomly picked out where you just, what we did early, put a waypoint on some random little ledges we found on smart fishing spots, and we caught a ton of fish. That was an absolute blast. Yep. And uh, it, it definitely definitely sold me on how easy it was to do that. Yeah, we didn't even bother with live bait or cut bait. We didn't, no. we didn't have a whole lot of time, so we just dropped power prawns down there, and <laughs> those group were all over it. It was, yeah. uh, it was an absolute blast. Yeah, that was awesome. Well, once again, all of this stuff, if you went out and tried to get it by yourself, it would be tens of thousands of dollars for all of it. Uh, but even if you found a system that gave pieces of it, you're talking anywhere from $500 to thousands of dollars uh, just to get it. And we are giving this complimentary to all of our members, this is just one more reason to join the Insider Club. It's one reason we have 35,000 members and growing by about 100 new members a day now are uh, are joining. And uh, it, it's been so cool to see the growth, so cool to see the community grow. So there's kind of a, a few different pieces of it, right? We have the fishing tips. So we're, we got fishing coaches that are fishing new spots every single day, Monday through Friday, and reporting back everything to you. So you got a, the on-the-water fishing tips, and you've probably seen some of our reviews and comparisons and things like that and not contest. Uh, so that's kind of one piece of it is all the the how-to, and that includes the the courses and all the PDF cheat sheets and all the stuff that we do there on the, on the how-to. That's really how the club started, right, Luke? It was all based – on on education and then we realized well, hey man people we got ten thousand members i remember now we have thirty five thousand. but once we hit 10 we started asking hey what do you guys want next and we're like, well hey we're we're a big enough club but we could probably get some pretty cool tackle discounts and so then we went out and work with these manufacturers some of the ones that we personally like and use and and got some you know great tackle discounts and now our members you know can save anywhere up to 20 30 percent in some cases on everything in our store there at fishstrong.com which is our online tackle store uh, anyone could shop there but you know, members are the ones who get to, to save money on there. And so you got the, the tackle aspect of it. Then you have the community, right? And so now with 35,000 members, you got a lot of people that, that do want to have a private place to share stuff. And there's no negativity, no cursing. It's it's the exact opposite of these Facebook groups where you got a bunch of random people who may or may not be robots and, uh, and spammers. And 
just all this negativity that happens with Facebook is not there. We don't allow it. We will gladly kick someone out and give them their money back. We just, we don't tolerate it. We don't have time for it. So the community is really, really special. You have a lot of really great anglers who are sharing a lot and really helping out everyone, including many fishing guides who are in there as, uh, as well. And then this other piece now is the technology piece, which is the smart fishing spots. And this will continue just to get better and better and better over time. And uh, we, our goal, honestly, Luke and I talk about it, is just to have an offer like this so good that you feel like an idiot for saying no to it, right? It's just so good. Like at some point, all right, I got to join just to get the smart fishing spots. This thing is such a no-brainer because it would cost me so much money to get all this stuff outside of it. So we're just going to continue to pile it on and uh, and make it, once again, just an absolute irresistible offer for you to join the club. So this will be the time to do it. We are going to be raising the price is the only bad thing. The good thing is once you were in, like if you join today, you or you're already in, obviously if you're already a member, you're grandfathered in. But once you join at that rate, you're locked in for life. That is our promise to you. It's how we wish companies treated us. It would be like getting in an Amazon Prime back when it was $58 instead of 130 now, right? And being able to lock in. They obviously did not do that. They just raised prices on everyone like Netflix does. Uh, but we are the opposite. We are locking you in. We want to we want to reward people uh, who are loyal to us. So if you get in, you will be locked into that rate for life. That includes anyone who's already a member listening to this. You are locked in. You will never, ever see a price increase, uh, which is really, really awesome and, and honestly very, very rare uh, these days. Uh, so don't miss out. We will be raising the prices on this just because this is cost a fortune for us to get and de develop and build out. Uh, so don't miss out. Lock it in now. Get it in while you can. And we even have a 100% money back guarantee, right, Luke? I mean, it's pretty unheard of if you want to talk about it real quick. Yeah, I mean, you have an entire year. So this is an annual membership and you have the entire duration of the membership to make sure that our promises are fulfilled, where you're going to catch more fish than ever before and you're going to save money on all the tackle you need. If we somehow, uh, if you somehow think that we didn't just totally, uh, totally uh, knock those two out of the park, just let us know and, and you'll get a full refund of, of what you pay. Yep. No brainer. And we're a little bit different too, because our head web developer, Nick, who's building all this stuff, he's an avid angler, offshore angler, inshore angler, owns his own boat. Uh, yep. Usually you get, uh, uh, no offense, Nick, but you get some kind of, <laughs> nerdy developer who's never even fished before and they they think catfish are cool uh just because they never seen one and it looks like a cat got whiskers uh but no <laughs> we're a little bit different uh that we you know even hire developers who live and breathe this stuff and are passionate about it uh and a lot of this stuff came from nick he's like man i, I wish i had this on my boat in my unit and yeah. so it's been really really cool you know seeing this whole thing develop so we're super grateful for you and and, uh, and your team on this and uh this thing just only keeps getting smarter and smarter and smarter for you boston people uh every single day yes sir cool anything else guys I think that's it for this one. Awesome. Well, uh, and thank you guys for all the feedback as well. Uh, still going through it. I, we got that like during the hurricane. And uh, if you probably heard, we, we were out of power for a week and uh, had some pretty decent damage to our, our new office building. And so just a lot going on, but been reading through that and uh, awesome, awesome feedback on how to make this podcast better. And uh, uh, one trend I saw in the comments was, you know, more interviews with fishing captains and, and local experts and guys. And so already starting to do that, already starting to, to interview some, uh, some experts and starting to build, uh, build that up. So uh, keep the feedback coming. We love it. Make sure to go to saltstrong.com. If you're a member, look at that new dashboard, give us any feedback there. And obviously if you haven't joined, what the heck are you waiting on? Someone to take you by the hand and show you where to fish and save money every single week. Well, if that's the case, come join us in the Insider Club. That's also it's saltstrong.com you will see the the public version until you become a member then you get the real deal version which is what our insider members see so guys thank you so much and uh continue to give us feedback that's how we're all getting better and better every single week and just uh, making sure that we are the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers in the entire universe uh, i would say world but now it is officially the universe so hopefully i didn't offend any aliens out there I don't think so. It is. Uh, it's already awesome, and it's only going to get better. Yeah, we have a lot of good ideas that we haven't even mentioned that are going to be um, be announced later uh, this year. So really, uh, really cool stuff in the pipeline. Yep. Cool, guys. We appreciate you, and we will talk to you on the next episode.